Yo, what's going on guys? This is Kek back here with another Animal Jam video and in today's Animal Jam video guys We're gonna be talking about the latest Animal Jam classic update because there's actually some interesting stuff in here Which is actually surprising before we do get into that a quick giveaway announcement for the blue headdress as always All you got to do is like the video subscribe to the channel when notifications on drop a comment down below after you finish Letting me know what you thought of the video extra entries down in the description bada bing bada boom Let's hop into the news here. We have the haunted spooktacular bundle This bundle comes with hyenas on heart plus spooky cast items to give you a start. Inside you'll find a hyena, pet hyena, the epic haunted manor, a masterpiece token, the spooky heart outfit, and spooky castle den items. Uh, so I actually like the color of these uh, items here. Uh, the haunted manor was kind of just a, a given that this was going to come back and then the items are pretty decent as well. Black and orange, you can't go really wrong with those. But here is the uh, the bread and butter for uh, the next few weeks to come pretty much. Uh, they're doing wild weekends again for October uh, for Halloween, which I really love to be honest. I think it's a uh, wild weekend anyway. It's like the same thing. Every weekend October you log in and you'll find spooky sales certain to boggle the mind in the phantom vortex you'll find what you seek with new items in store each and every week you'll find scarecrow accessories in the phantom vortexes spooky shop this Thursday Friday Saturday and Sunday so yes it is a well weekend they did this last year as well with uh, some like phantom armors and stuff like that spikes and stuff like weird colors but these colors are not too bad here the black and orange socks I can already tell these are gonna be pretty popular with the people um and that top hat you know you oh, I, I always welcome top hat recolors especially in good ones now this is my favorite part of the game, uh, update here. Pretty, pretty anticlimactic to be honest. But Hall of Animals uh, in Superhero Forest. The Hall of Animals has opened its refurbished doors. That celebrate animals across the world with new banners and statues, which has actually a lot of items in this that were previously unreleased. So Animal Jam just kind of dumped them in the store uh, here and uh, kind of revamped it up a little bit to kind of make a little more sense, I guess. Uh, this was obviously previously the flag shop, but we'll visit that here in a second. Bittersweet is back again. Kind of same old, uh, same old thing here. Uh, I think the last few things here anyway are the kind of same things you'd be seeing every Halloween update. We have the pet phantoms, the spooky party, the pet bats, and then the haunted mansion as well. So the haunted mansion and the haunted manor actually are both back. At, okay, that's funny. I haven't been to the diamond shop on this account yet. So if we go to the um, the bundle here, as you can see, it's the haunted manor. And then here is, okay, well, it's not in stores yet, but you get what I mean. But there is actually a new den store here, uh, in store here, which is the spooky castle. Now this also was unreleased for so many years. Like I kid you not, probably about eight years almost at this point this was unreleased i was like really surprised that they never ever released this i don't know why that spooky pattern is showing up there it's weird but yeah this is just like a haunted version of the princess castle that's regularly in stores so i'm pretty hyped about this finally coming out i always you know saw this back in the day when the you know, unreleased stuff was getting lethal left and right and i was like damn this is going to be really cool when it comes out and yeah i am i'm pretty hyped that they actually finally released this so uh, i know this will probably be super popular as well people are going to love it so I'm uh, pretty ecstatic about that returning or not even returning just coming out for the first time and um, but what I was saying about the Haunted Manor the small old version as well as the bigger version are now going to be both available which is cool but because uh, the smaller version is actually non-member now so it's going to be something for the non-members because I know a lot of you in my comments always complain about that which uh, you know I'm here with you I'm one of you guys now you know look at me you no know, membership but yeah as for the, the bundle here we've kind of you know visited that already the 30 diamonds I guess next here we'll just go on over to Serapiri Forest but before we go into the shop here, we'll go on into the Phantom Vortex portal here to check out the little shop here. As you can see, it's just a little my shop run. We've got the Scarecrow set as well as the Candy Corn set. So pretty cool. Uh, I think, I don't know if this was a actually item in the game regularly, just a lace bow. Um, I could be mistaken about that. I don't know. You guys can tell me in the comments, but yeah, this is some pretty cool stuff and I'm dripped out with the socks. So, oh no, I'm a big fan of this update. Um, if you can't tell, but we'll actually head to the Hall of Animals now, the new opened store in Animal Jam for the first time in I don't know how many years. Uh, technically, it's new, I guess. So, uh, as off the bat here, I don't know if... I'm pretty sure this has changed from... Well, yeah, I know it's changed because there's like stone heads and plushies here as well. Uh, now, for those wondering what happened to the original flag shop, uh, it is still this. You can just buy the flags here, so, so they're still available. Um, but uh, now we have Hall of Animals where we have giant plushies for sale. Every single one, I'm pretty sure, if I'm not mistaken, that usually gets sold in the diamond shop. We have every statue for every alpha for every animal animal which if you don't know yeah there is an alpha for every animal in the game so um maybe some of these will get more appreciation now um they're kind of sharing some light on it i guess and then also up here which is kind of my bread and butter with this these are the animal banners which you might have seen some of these in game because there is some of them in game uh you know with the non-member animals which i don't think actually returned with this but um all of these were actually previously unreleased i don't know why some of these are non-member and some of them are member but yeah a lot of them were actually previously unreleased i don't know why because they would just 
make them and then put them in the files and then never release them but I'm, I'm a big fan that they actually finally released these stuff because there's so many unreleased items in the game's files they can just release and they haven't been doing for the longest time like i was even about to make a video like probably next week talking about like things that i could do to update the game and a big part of it was going to be talking about you know unreleased items that they could actually put in stores that they haven't already but uh this one's definitely my favorite it reminds me of the aj jump um, app which you know we covered on the channel a few weeks ago but uh, yeah that's might be it actually because there's actually like a lot here and this update obviously we have the spooky snow leopards as well raccoons are back as well which i think we're gone for a while and then skunks as well so yeah a lot of animals coming back into rotation as well which i'm a big fan of and um something actually new now when i first logged in earlier like an hour ago when this update actually came out i don't know when this video is going out probably gonna go out like two hours after the update came out but people were actually complaining about this i don't know why i, th I think this is a cool thing that they actually changed up something they refreshed something because well yeah it's kind of like on the tame side it's not like something huge extravagant kind of new shop it's still something cool um and especially for the older players anyway i feel like we'll appreciate this a lot more anyway but do make sure to check it out for yourself as well as everything else in the animal jam update uh also just gonna slot this near at the end because uh you know we we're talking about the bot raids in the last video gonna slide this here uh the people around the game pretending to be me they, they use name kekko and then like numbers or something after and doing the color stuff that's not me gonna, gonna slot this in here because that doesn't deserve its own video uh the struggles of an animal jam youtuber but yeah that's gonna wrap it up here guys do make sure to subscribe when notifications on if you guys do want to be notified on future videos as well as videos just like this one do make sure to leave a like on it you'd enjoy it. and let me know what, what you thought in the comment section below of this update what was your favorite part there was a lot to it to be honest and um, I, i'm pleasurably surprised animal jam hats off to you but with that we'll wrap it up here and i'll catch you guys in the next one